It was a little weird, let's just say. When we walked down the hill, we stepped on people's heads because they were all buried in the mud, in the wet mud. And, and I was with my, but he, he didn't go, he didn't stay, and one of my other friends did. And I, I looked at my friend and I said, I think these people are dead. He said, no, they're not dead. I said, okay. As it turns out, he was right. Richie, they just found the brown acid. They found what? The brown acid. The brown acid they found? <laughs> it was the very last time I did any type of a drug experimenting. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I learned my lesson on that hill. The brown acid. Should I tell the brown acid story? Yeah, tell the brown acid story. What's that? Tell the brown acid story. Well, it's very, I told a bit of it on CNN, actually. They did the documentary on... Um, on Woodstock, and I actually interviewed me, of all people. Uh, of all the people in that crowd, <laughs> they interviewed me and two of my friends who were there. Isn't that funny? So, uh, so I explained it. Um, what happened was, some guy gave me and my buddy this little thing on a piece of paper and said, you just eat that, lick it, lick it and eat it. Right? Okay, like a jerk off. I was a teenager, I was Jason's age. <laughs> I'm not saying you're a jerk off. Oh, I am, so it's okay. All right, good. <laughs> and uh, we, I didn't feel much from it or anything and we, we went up on the hill the two of us I was 19 he was 17 we were young you know and uh, do you know who Chipmunk was? Chipmunk was Chipmunk he had hair down to here and a mustache and he was the coolest guy with the deepest voice and he stood there on stage and made announcements and looked cool I want to tell everyone, don't take the brown acid. <laughs> I'm sitting on the hill, a half a million people, you couldn't move if you wanted. So I look at my buddy, he's a kid, we just grabbed him off the street in Teaneck. I said, hey, what are you doing, Carl? We're going to Woodstock. Oh yeah, I'll go. His parents had no idea where he was for three days. <laughs> Dude, we couldn't do that shit today. We'd be like having anxiety attacks if our kids were, anyway. So I look at Carl and I say, Carl, what color was that shit? He goes, brown. I said, oh my God, I didn't say a word. I just looked at the stage and said, and I remember my thoughts. I said, I'm gonna die right where I'm sitting right now. Okay, just forget about it. And, and the band came on. They were phenomenal, the band. Levon Helm, we were just talking about Levon. And then they were done. I still felt kind of okay, but a little panicky. I I'm not even sure if the what the order was, because I was on LSD. Let's face it. Even though it was a minor, uh, you know, minor amount. <laughs> and then um, Crosby, Stills, and Nash came on. And I know they sounded like shit in the movie, but they sounded great to me. They sounded great there. I don't know why they didn't sound so great in the movie. And then they brought Neil Young. And he said, ladies and gentlemen, Neil Young. And I was like in my glory because I was a Buffalo Springfield fan, Neil Young fan, Crosby Stills fan. And they did Mr. Soul. You know that one? So anyway, by the time that song was over, I felt fine. I was 100% saved by Mr. Soul and Neil Young. And let's see, that was 69. Eight years went by. We were on the road with my band Stars. And uh, our manager said, there's this lighting director coming out on the road with you. He's the best lighting director. He did the stones. He's going to design the lighting thing for you guys. His name is Chip Monk. <laughs> Motherfucker, I said. So I just kept saying to him for five days, don't eat the brown acid. I said, do you know how many people you freaked out? But he was a real nice guy. So how was your trip anyway? The trip was fine. I, I, I came, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young saved me. And I never went near anything ever again. I learned my lesson. I really did. I, never, I, I think if I smoke pot like a, a, like a toke here and there for like the next uh, 10 years and then nothing. So learn from this young fella. I'm talking to you, you jackass. No, this guy. This jackass. <laughs> hey. You're a lot more together than I was at my age, at your age, at my age, I was. Yeah, as, as I was your age. After that. But after that, yeah, I straightened my ass right out.